Hey everybody, it's Stacy. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are filming for the week of September 21st to the 27th, and I'm using the kit called Bonfire and Chill. Now this is screaming fall to me, which is perfect because our town looks so gorgeous right now with all the leaves and all the different colors, and we actually got to go on a hike later in this week and actually enjoy all the beautiful weather and the beautiful colors. So. I think this kit is beyond perfect for that. So anyways, I hope you guys had a good week. Um, I'm just going to talk about the kit just slightly. I started with the bottom washi. Since this bottom washi is like full floral, I really didn't want to cut it up. I knew I could, but I just love those sunflowers. I thought they were so pretty. So I decided to use our new GeoLines bottom washi overlay in gold foil. And I just used the full size bottom washi and put that over and I really like how that looks. Super, super cute. Now I'm going to be doing my washi banner right now. And I'm using again a bunch of Simply Gilded washi and I'm using some of the washi strips from the kit. I haven't done that in quite a while actually. I've been using just washi rolls and yeah, it was, felt nice to use washi from the kit this time. So I hope you guys are having a good start to your week. It has already been a week for me and it is only Monday currently today. So yeah, it's been quite a week already. But I did have a good week last week, which was really good. Um, I am glad you guys are enjoying the new current spreads. I got quite a good feedback from the last video that I just put up, the Foxy Fall one. Seems like you guys are liking the more current videos which is great because I kind of had this impression in my head that I kind of had to do my videos in order. I don't know if that's just like aesthetically pleasing for me when you see the playlist and sorry guys, all those dings or whatever. Um, I think it's just aesthetically pleasing when you look at a playlist and it's like got all the, them in order and you can kind of watch them in order. So that's always really nice. However, it's just not my reality. Like I just fell off and I need to accept that and I can either A, not do those spreads, which I don't want to do, or B, I can just carry on with what I'm doing, which I have decided. And very glad I did because even though they're not in the right order, it's just very fun to like talk about my current week and not be like, I don't really remember why we did something in May. <laughs> like sometimes people are like, Oh, what did you do uh, when you went shopping? And I have to talk about it in my plan with me. And I'm like, I don't even know what I went shopping for. But apparently I did. But I can't remember that. Where when I do the current spreads, it's kind of nice. Because I can kind of give you guys a little bit more stories. Okay, so I did use our leaf header overlays for this spread. And I think it looks so pretty. Since I used kind of a more simple bottom washi overlay I thought it would be perfect to do kind of a busier one on the top and then for my full box overlays I did a bunch of different ones I used our pumpkin our leaves um I think I used our geo lines and our bow photo corners and I really like how that turned out I love how my month turned out at the very corner there. I do end up, end up having to finagle with it a little bit because I totally didn't think of my day covers and I kind of put it over top so you'll see I move it around a bunch of times and thank goodness for removable matte paper because I don't think I could plan without it. I always watch like people's videos and then they're like moving things and ripping paper and I'm super glad I have removable matte. I just love it. Okay, so I am putting down all of my work for each day, uh, Monday to Friday, and then I put an extra box on Tuesday because that is going to be the first day of fall. I am using one of our new autumn character stickers, our new Prairie Girls, to mark that, and she is just sitting on a pumpkin, holding pumpkins. It's really cute. And then that first day of fall sticker is actually from Ashley, my PR sample, or sorry, my PR girl. It's on her sampler sheet. So you can pick it up there if you mention her name in the order. 
Um, but anyways, I used that from her sample and I think that turned out really cute. For my work, I used a very variety of stickers to mark that. I used on Monday and Thursday. That silhouette is just a personal use one that I just print for myself. And then on Tuesday, that uh, printer icon is from theplannerbomb.com. On Wednesday, that sticker is from... Let's... Nope. I don't remember. I will leave it in the links down below. I remembered it last time, but I can't remember this time. Anyways, I'll, I'll link all these shops down below for you guys. And then on Friday, I used a Once More With Love girl on her laptop. Super fun to use the yellows and the oranges in this spread. I find you never get to use those colors until fall. You like never get to use those. So very excited to use some more yellow and oranges in this spread. Okay, enough rambling because I think it's very late and you can tell by the way I'm doing this voiceover. It's just... A little bit of a rambling mess. Anyways, moving on to Monday. Um, after, other than work, I marked that my husband started school this day. He was doing a one-week course for his work. He started a new job in February and he has to take schooling to get his different levels and he was doing a one-week course. They usually go into the schools but due to COVID, they, are, they did it at home. So he sat at my computer and watched the professor do all these like PowerPoint presentations and then he had to do some quizzes. So he was home all week and then just in the basement doing school. But I want to mark it and so what I did is I took one of that homeschool sticker that I have and then I cut off the words and I just used the icon. And then on Mondays, my daughter Cheyenne has piano. So it's always a whirlwind of a day because I gotta go and pick her up in the middle of the afternoon and bring her back and it's like a half an hour thing so it's quite a lot of driving when you have to do three pick up and drop offs for school plus piano. It's quite a bit. So I marked that with one of our music note icons and then my daughter was playing outside in the evening and she really scraped up her knee. Like I'm talking quite a bit like there was some serious skin taken off usually like we have a lot of fumbles and t falls or whatever in our house but this was a like deep deep gash and then we found out like she was kind of sore so we got her to like kind of just relax in the evening and then the next day she's like mom my shoulder is really sore and I was like oh you probably like landed on it didn't really think anything of it well, that evening when she had her shower, I realized she had a huge gash on her shoulder too. So, oh, poor girl. So I wanted to mark it just because it was quite quite the ordeal. And uh, I marked it with one of our new emotion uh, character stickers. So we have three new sheets of uh, moods. We call them mood one, mood two, mood three. And this is on there and she's like looking bewildered. And yeah, I wanted to mark that. And then in the evening, I filmed and edited my um, Plan With Me video, the boxy fall one, and that sticker is from Stick With The Plans Co. And then I just spent the rest of the evening designing, and then me and my husband watched Two Broke Girls while I was doing that, and that design sticker is one of our character sheets, and the TV icon is from the kit. On Tuesday, it is Tim Horton's day, so I used a coffee cup from Planner Mania to Market. And then I had a massage in the afternoon and I just marked it with an appointment label. And then in the evening, my parents FaceTimed uh, me. They just kind of were sitting on their deck and they wanted to chat with us. And me and my husband watched the show American Barbecue Showdown. It's on Netflix if you're interested, but my husband is super into like smoking um food I don't know it sounds weird but he has like a smoker and he's always like loves barbecue food like we love barbecue food and so he found this like competition type show we've watched a few of them like this before but this one was really good 
um, very different. Usually when they do barbecue like uh, competition shows, they are like marketing towards like fairs and like feeding the masses as opposed to like making it an art and making it like unique and stuff like that. So this one didn't focus more on feeding the masses. It kind of focused on the more gourmet side of barbecue, which was really cool and really, really tasty. It made us super hungry. My husband actually had to go and get uh, a burger during this because he was so hungry. On Wednesday, I actually got Tim Hortons again and I used a Millie Papery Co. Girl with her coffee cup to mark it. I have been wanting to use these girls forever, but this blue is super hard to match, but I think it nailed the kit. Like it was perfect with this kit. And then I had an hair appointment this day, which is like an all afternoon thing, which is always super fun because my friend Ashley does my hair, so I love that. And then I used a Millie Papery Co. Girl to mark it. And then in the evening I did my uh, some voiceovers for some videos. And then I worked on my washi swatch book, which is a video that I posted on Saturday. And I used a Coffee Monsters Co. guy with all his washi for that. And then in the evening we watched some more of the barbecue American Barbecue Showdown and I just designed in the evening. Okay, so moving on to the second half of the week. We went for lunch to Subway this day and I was so excited. Have you ever guys like done something because you have a sticker for it? I know that sounds silly, but do you ever like have like, for example, a fall bucket list and you're, you don't normally like go on a hike, for example, and someone asks you to go for a hike and you're like, yeah, because I have a sticker for that. That is definitely me, but I had these subway stickers and my husband's like, what do you want for lunch? And I was like, oh, I have a subway sticker. I could use a subway sticker. So I asked him if he wanted to go to subway. Is that ridiculous? <laughs> Please guys tell me that I'm not alone in that. Tell me that you also do things because you have stickers for it. And then in the evening, I went grocery shopping. I actually went before I picked up the kids from school. I had some extra time after work and stuff like that, so I went then. And then I was listening to the book The Elite this day. Uh, it's been a couple days since I've had read an audiobook, so, or listened to an audiobook, sorry. Uh, so that kind of was nice. But The Elite is from the Selection series, and if you haven't heard of it, it's awesome. Basically, like a king, or sorry, a prince and princess version of The Bachelor. So if that's your style, it's a very fluff kind of story. It's got some um, dynamic parts, but it's mostly just like romantic and that kind of thing, which I like. And it's definitely a good thing for me when I'm working because I don't really have to pay attention and think too hard, which is great. And then it was so beautiful this day that me and my husband said in the evening we just have to take advantage of the weather. And he was kind of sick and tired of being stuck inside from school, so we decided to go for a bike ride. And I used a Millie Papery Co. girl for that. And we actually went into one of the trails that is by our lake and just kind of did some exploring and biking around, and it was great. Then we came home, and I did a bunch of planning, and me and my husband watched Two Broke Girls. And then I worked on my swatch book again. So happy that's done, you guys. It was like a long, long video to work on, but I'm so glad it's done. I'm super happy with it. And yeah, looks good. And that sticker from for the planning time is from the Copy Brain Plans. On Friday, my husband went to the city and wrote his test for his exam or for his work story, and he got 99%, so that's fantastic, super proud of him. And I used just the planner from the deco in the kit, and then it was just me and my son for lunch this day, so I asked him where he wanted to go, and of course it is McDonald's. Where doesn't he want to go? So that sticker is from the sticker party. And then after I picked up the kids from school, I had to go and grab some 
have our buns for our dinner so I quickly ran to co-op which is our grocery store and then we had burgers for supper which was awesome love homemade burgers and then in the evening I filmed the rest of my swatch book my husband had some guys over to watch the hockey game so I definitely took advantage and filmed the rest of the swatch book which is the video that went up the next day and while I was filming that, I was watching YouTube. Oh, sorry guys. Okay. And then after that, I decided to just chill on the couch and I started watching This Is Us. And that TV icon is from Planner Media. I had started watching This Is Us a while ago, but if you know me, I am super... Things that are like really real and things that are very emotional are very hard for me to watch. I don't, I read fantasy books for a reason. I kind of like things that aren't real. So things that are very emotional and that kind of thing are very hard for me. So I decided that this was not a show for me. I've tried watching it before. It's such a good show. It's so well done. And if you like it, I'm very sorry. But it's like such a good show, but I just can't watch it. It's just not a good show for me. And I learned that, so that's good. On Saturday, I went for breakfast with my mom and my grandma. My husband and my dad were both golfing this day, not together. Um, funny enough, they were golfing with different people. But we decided to go for breakfast without them. And I used Emily Papery Co-Girl sitting in her coffee cup for that. See, you guys, that color is perfect. I love it. And then all day, I just filmed and edited videos like all day I was I think I filmed three videos edited a bunch it was a lot so I used a big planning flat lay and that is from ooh, what's it from again Allie's cat shop Allie cat's shop that's what it's from super cute and very excited to use the yellow in that one and then we were going to have somebody over for a fire in the evening, so I just decided to clean up the yard from my dog. And I had two tomato plants left that I had to put in the compost, so I went and did that as well. And we ordered in Boston pizza, and I used a uh, Stick With The Plan Co Girl with her pizza to mark that. And then I decided to bake chocolate chip muffins. I'm kind of a sucker. I always like to have snacks when my friends come over. And that sticker is from Millie Papery Co. And then we had a bonfire in the backyard, which was awesome. It was such a beautiful, beautiful day. And we didn't know if we were going to get very many chances for that. That fire sticker is from the sticker party. On Sunday, we decided to go on a hike around the lake. And that hike sticker is actually also from Ashley's sampler. So if you like those two, you can definitely use her name on your order and you can get both of those. And yeah, we decided to take a hike around the lake. My kids did amazing. I wasn't sure how they were going to do with the long hike, but we kind of like stopped when they were still happy and kind of turned around and came back. So very happy. It was so beautiful. The colors were amazing of all the leaves and everything. So pretty to see. Then I used another mood sticker from our new character sheets because it was quite a day with my kids. It was like everything was wrong and it was just a stressful day. So I used that. Oh, I sorry, I forgot to uh, mention that I played Sims like all afternoon. I haven't played in a long time. And those stickers are from the sticker party. Then I just made a print list and watched Two Bro Girls in the evening. This is the completed spread. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!